Hey, it's me, Marky Joe, here to entertain you. Yes, it is my show. It exists. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah. So, next up is Chapter 3, which, by the way, I had to beat Chapter 2 again just to get back up to this point because, uh... This lady over here did not have her hen henna birachi, birachi, or however you pronounce that. Yeah, so apparently I was, I don't know what the heck happened, but point is, is that I had to redo all that crap. Uh, I did some experience redistribution, to do a little bit of EXP communism. Uh, I also did a bit of shopping, different shopping. Uh, so let's just organize all of our itemry, shall we? Man, Men Menmus has like a whole bunch of stuff that he can work with. Axes and lances? That's pretty BA. And as for you, I am going to train the living hell out of you. I'm gonna make you one of my best units. Ah, yes, the topaz. We gotta sell that off. Uh, there's, there's the, there's the description right there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay so let's get our show started, shall we? A thief? Oh, okay. That That's pretty clever. Like, I was told that Alfred Kamen had to work around FE8's overworld events, and, like, originally Calm would steal Erica's uh, bracelet in the prior chapter, and here it's they changed it to, it's a Magnolia Scout. Uh-oh. Dangers. Also, that guy had a pretty derpy face. Of course, there's no turning back. If you turn back, all you will be met with is a stake through the heart. Except you're not a vampire, so uh, probably something else. Ah. Wow, they're trusting Helios, okay. I mean, he is kind of a strange warpy dude. I'm not sure I would trust him. Fratcher seems to really want to push herself. I think it's because of her selfless desire to avoid killing people, you know? So, uh, dibs that that guy's gonna die, by the way. Huh. Interesting. Also, her hair is really nicely drawn. Oh, that was jerky. Oh! Uh, yeah, that guy's not gonna live. Bam! Dead. Oh, dang! That ch this chick is kind of creepy. It's like, oh, I'm blind and unassuming. Then suddenly, BAM! Blew up the guy into a million pieces. And yeah, she is right. The guy did attack him. Considering, uh... Considering Fratress's weak resistance to that, I don't think she could take on this chick. But then again, she did kick the living crap out of Catalia in um, one of the endings of Chapter 2. I 
I love how he like passed all the way to Feratris and didn't notice the mage right there. Like he was going that way. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, she is a little crazy. Wait, what? Not sure I follow that guy was a bad guy yes mark he killed the original escort the Pegasus writers found out about it and then informed Rhea that's why this scene is here huh I'm a little confused BAM <laughs> I like how it showed that little scenario. Oh, snap. Okay, so now I gotta pick people. Uh, oh, geez, that's a bit of a difficult decision, eh? Wow, not a lot of enemies here. Also, this chapter looks very much like a certain chapter in Erica's Path in the original Fire Emblem Made the Sacred Stones. Okay, is that thing locked to him? Oh, all right, let me explain. In most Fire Emblem games, you have weapons like the Rapier, which can only be used by a certain character or class. That's because these weapons have a lock that prevents any character without the corresponding unlock ability from using it. Think of it as a door that requires a specific key to open. A common problem people have while Fire Emblem hacking is that you have a limited amount of weapon locks at your disposal. For example, Fire Emblem 7 only gives you about 5. But there's a trick that allows you to recycle these weapon locks. Normally, weapons like the Rapier don't actually have a weapon rank, so any character with the Rapier's unlock can use it, even if they don't normally use swords. By giving the weapon a rank, you can make it so that weapon can only be used by characters with its unlock and have a ranking that corresponds to the weapon. That's what Alfred did here. It does have a side effect, however. The weapon's rank is shown in place of the PRF text that normally indicates that it's locked to a specific character or class. So figuring out that it's weapon lock requires experimentation, or looking at the description. After training up Andre, I am interested in training him. But man, I want to train all these dudes. I like all of them. You know what? I'm going to see what I can do without the help of, of uh, Helios. All right, we'll see how this turns out, okay? Let's do this, shall we? Okay, well, thankfully, there's a whole bunch of mountains nearby. there. Uh-oh. Ambush spawn warning. I like how, like, hints are integrated into the, like, story and dialogue. It's very nicely done. This chick is Father Teresius from Greek Myths.
sell their dead bodies type? Oh, she opened her eyes. She actually has eyes. Okay, see, I like this too, because, like, I've heard things about this character before, and the impression I got was that she has the potential to be a Mary Sue. But, like, it, like we see the dark side of her power as well. She basically has to see all this evil in the world, and I imagine that must not be pleasant for her. I don't know what it is, but Fratris calling herself a demon kind of makes her more attractive in my eyes. <laughs> uh, okay, so this chick. Uh, she's definitely incredible. She's got speed. Yeah, she would probably wipe the floor with Fratris. Yeah, she's like a direct counter. Wait, holy crap. She's level 20? Wow. If Ferratris was level 20, then she'd probably kick the shit out of this girl. Because her stats are not good for level 20, I think. Alright. So, she's gonna move on her own, I take it? Oh, wait. Okay, so I gotta seize this gate. Okay, so she said for me to stay behind her if I don't want to fight enemies. Also, I think Ferratris can actually rescue her. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So, these guys... I imagine they're gonna try stealing. So, we need to do something about that, shall we? Andre, you just sit back and be terrified. <laughs> uh, why did I bring you? Up oh, that, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, yeah, wow, that, that was really, uh. <laughs> that that gave me a bit of a scare, I apologize. Holy cow, what? They make damage happen, and Fratris is dead. Okay, yeah, when she said stay behind her, I thought, okay, I can place her right behind her. Turns out that not, that's not the case. Well, I mean, I don't know how you would be able to, like do that in a more helpful manner, like make that more intuitive. So, uh, you know, whatever. I think instead of Shiori telling us to stay behind, which is a bit ambiguous and can easily be misinterpreted as I have shown, I think what she should do is say, stay away from that fort. I think that's a lot more intuitive. But on the other hand, I still can't help but feel like that was my own fault. I'll stand right about here. Okay, back to where we were. I assume that she's really good at dodging or some crap. Well, she's standing on a tree, it seems, so... There's that. Bam. Bam. So when's this chick gonna get on my team? <laughs> well, I mean, she can't level up because she's already level 20. So, that's a bit of a concern. I'd have to promote her as soon as possible. And I want to, s I want to save my, uh, whatever's... Maybe my guiding rings, if I get them. I want to save them for for Ferratris, and possibly, if I get around to training them, Andre. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Ooh, that's not good. Holy cow! Hello, Final Fantasy character. Dejambo. What's with these Fire Emblem hacks and fusing the letter D and J together for a name? Or is that just common in Fire Emblem in general? I mean, there's the Dejute clan from the Fire Emblem Elebe series. And that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Maybe I'm just thinking things.
very sweet. Garion's like an old man grandpa. Oh, and we gotta kill them too? These guys seem like nice guys. Okay, talk with some of them. Where the heck is that? Oh, I was looking for the the DJ guy. I guess that's his name from now on. <laughs> I doubt these guys can actually harm Feratrius. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta turn the animations back on. Oh, dang. Come on, where's your speed, lady? That's more like it. Dodge. All right, well, I mean, she's she's okay so far. She could afford to be a little bit better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just ju judging her too prematurely, which is totally possible. I tend to do that sometimes. Meanwhile, Kristoff's gonna lay the smack down on whoever approaches him. Okay, I need to remember that Hoikadians might be approaching us from behind, too. Oh man, so many things to take note of. Yeah! Catalia, you have done your first ally-sided flippity-flip. You should be proud. Now let's see those growths. Not bad! She can turn out to be a decent mage killer with that resistance. And she'll also be... She'll probably also be good for murdering the hell out of bandits, which is conveniently what we're fighting right now. So there's that. Ho ho ho! Oh, you dare fight this Shiori chick? You're... Oh, Judge Light. That sounds like some anime shit right there. And she's getting criticals a lot, too. Ding. Oh, dang it. If only he had an iron sword. Fratchus would have boobs of steeled him. Oh, well. There's always next time, you know? I just realized a lot of these characters... Like, a lot of our enemy units have a lot of... Also, that guy had a sword reaver. I noticed that almost none of them have actually had iron weapons. It's a little strange. Okay. The Hoikadians. It's gotta be them. Holy crap, we gotta get the heck out of there. Uh, yes, you first. You must be murdered by Hibarichi. Hanaburachi. God, man, that's a hard name to pronounce. Alright, you. Murder. Death. Uh, well, okay, I got the healer right there. Yeah! Okay. I don't have to use my backup plan now. I have to, like set this up so that I get hit as little as possible. Man, the ga the enemies in this game are a serious friggin' threat, and man, they already got short axes? Oh! Please, death. I don't want to get too close, because I do know that the archer's there, and there might be more ambush spawns. Alright, how will that look? Well, uh, what was that all about, I wonder? Ooh, okay, please don't double. Thank God, okay. Kristoff is getting some speed, so at least we know- Oh, jeez, please dodge, please dodge, please dodge! Dodge the death! I'm- I'm lying you, Mr- Yeah, dead. I should have put you in a better shot. Stop. Spot. Ugh. You know what it is? This game is an anti-reckless, like, design. And because I once again forgot to record the game audio for clips 2 and 3, you get more acapella. Now in stereo. Your sword stands no chance against Feratris' boobs. Alright, this is just about where we last left off. I think I might have to use the living hell out of Catalia. Because, man, these enemies are difficult. Flip. Dang it. That's what I was hoping for. Well... I mean, I was hoping for her to dodge. 
I mean, no, flippity flip. God, jeez. Oh, what the heck is this? God, what? Man, everything kicks the crap out of dark magic in this game. Ah, uh, man. Oh, God. Dang it. I forgot. Oh, man, I'm a bad player. Okay, but at least they're going after her, in which she'll probably die in my place. Here we go. Please miss. Uh, well, they don't do a lot of damage anyway, so that's good. All right, you know, it is actually, it's, it's a good thing that, like, she doesn't have resistance. Because it also means that the weapon triangle for magic actually means a lot more. Okay, what the heck? Once again, I have forgotten to record game audio. My foolishness has forced me to do this. Hmm. So Alright, so the Hoikadians are gonna show up. I know this for a fact now. Oh god. This game is not pulling any punches whatsoever. How the heck am I supposed to do this? This is impossible. I'm just gonna have to use the living hell out of Catalia. Man, for a character that was allegedly nerfed, well, like buffed, I, I can't imagine her being much worse, like, when she first showed up. These guys haven't attacked yet. I guess I should just not worry about them for now. I gotta seize the gate. I just real. Man, I thought this was like a turn limit chapter for a moment. Okay, dodge. Good. That's what I'm hoping for. Don't ever change, Rhea. Just keep on dodging. And Shira, Shuri, please, please, dear God, don't die. You're gonna die because there's that dude right there. Or, oh, okay. Okay! I thought this guy was gonna move. And dang it, they keep stealing our tonics. Please get. Yes! Good. Perfect. Oh, double crit. Just just, just to put salt in the wound, you know? Not only did you kick the living crap out of the class that normally kicks the crap out of you, but you also just friggin' double crit them while you're at it. Okay, good. You, you got your... You got your small amount of EXP for this chapter. I'm sure it'll pay off in the long run. Yeah, I need to find a way to get past these guys, but they all have holy fire. Okay, I think I might have to just do some bait and switching. Yeah, let's do that for now. Oh god, they're going to attack Andre. Yep! <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god! <sighs> okay. Several attempts later. I think... I think I'm in good shape. If the gods are merciful, and by that I mean Alfred came and is merciful, then everything will be okay. Also, he got a level up. He's now at 8 speed. Visit! Uh, okay, that's strange. Okay, where else? Okay, I know that there's gonna be more dudes. Alright. Fair enough! So I guess what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to spare the guy's life. Oh shit, okay. Rhea, please for the love of God, you- Oh, you are gonna not dodge, are you? Oh my God, you did. <laughs> oh God. Die and die. Er. Dire, yeah. That, that pretty accurately summarizes the situation right now. If I can block one of them, I think she can survive. Oh, fuckaroo. Please don't murder. Okay. Thank you, Shiori, for not- Oh, God. Please, dear fuck. Oh. I lucked out way too much there. Bam. Can you survive a strike? Yes, you can. 
But you need the Tonic of Justice. You can deal 16 damage, which means that he can... Kick the crap out of you, maybe. Yeah, he can double you. Oh my god. Andre's first double. He's growing up so fast. Who are you gonna attack? You're gonna attack- Why would you attack the person most likely to kick your ass? Okay, whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. I can calm the hell down. Now we just need to get past the rest of these dudes. And then we're good. Oh, okay, so they're gonna charge after us now. Understood. You know what, since these enemies are slowing down, that means I now have an opportunity to um, train up Andre proper. It, like, there's no time limit I have to worry about now. So I, I guess Shiori is basically our walking game mechanic telling us, oh, hey, there's gonna be some ambush spawns. Hope you're ready. Yeah, this is a good spot because that allows her to dodge better. Please get more defense. Dang it. I wanted her to get more defense. That would have been hilarious. Wait. Okay. Why did I not think that over? Yes. Of See, Mark, you could have really screwed up again because that holy fire is damn murderous. Wait, it that, that has, it has weapon triangle advantage? Oh, that's because it's, uh, that's right. It has like Lance Reaver effect. That makes sense. Murder! Thank you for daying. And thank me for being mispronunciatory. Dang it. Why do you have to be on the mountain, dude? You have to thwart my plot to actually make one of my dudes good. And, of course, Feratris does not get defense. <sighs> Feratris, you gotta, you gotta enhance your boobs. That's the name of the game. Man, I, I really should stop that joke. Of course he misses, so now I have to uh, have somebody else do it. And everybody else has shit for accuracy. Thankfully, Pooldra saves the day. Okay, so I think from here I'm pretty safe. Man, you know, it's occurred to me. It actually makes sense for them to have so many countermeasures against, um, against our lady. Don't die! Sorry, I had a minor heart attack right there. Um, it makes sense for basically the entire world to have all these countermeasures against um, Feratris. Because, like, you know, she's the Demon King. You gotta have some kind of counter against that crap. Because then what the hell are you gonna do? Please. Okay, good. He got, he got more speed. Please don't have a Sword Reaver. One of these dudes had, like... There was a bandit that ha actually had a sword reaver, and I just, like, I was so annoyed by that. The enemies in this game seem to have really good hit in general, because Catalia doesn't dodge very consistently. It's becoming easier to train a Bondre now, because he's becoming less terrible. And she's becoming easier to train, because her stats are getting better too. Oh my god, it's paying off, guys. It's paying off. Rhea, you kind of, you kind of aren't very good, honestly. Like I've found very, very limited use for her. Okay, so now it's time for the Catalia and Andre Power Hour. Are you guys ready for this? Cause I am. This guy might move. Okay, got to think about all the possibilities. Oh my God, dudes. This game has not pulled any punches with me. Oh, and he gains experience so quickly, so he's gonna become really good now. Okay, so at first I thought his balancing was not very good, but he's actually starting to come around for me, and that's really surprising, and wow, good growths. Hi. Actually, I believe I have a Thunder Tome. 
Okay, so that guy has four speed. Okay, so I barely lose any speed. Which means that he could probably two-hit kill this guy. Ah, uh, not quite, but close enough. And he two-hit kills him anyway. Oh my god, Andre. I am using the hell out of you now. Okay, what do you got? Alright, what do you- Ooh! A new toy for Feratris! What does it do? Dancing in the shadows? I kinda wanna try that out now. Dancing in the shadows, is that some kind of like reference I don't know about? Okay. First, I wanna see this. And then I'll feed the kill to Andre. Okay, what what do we got here? Of course you got a crit. You know what? No, I'm gonna call Mulligan on that one because I want to see this. Oh, it's just Luna. Is that a defense penetrator? Let's see. So that's... No, it doesn't penetrate defenses because he has one resistance and it did 21 damage even though I have 22 uh, attack. BAM! Oh my god, we're... We're almost done, everybody! Holy cow! Okay, wait, maybe I can talk to him. Yes! You know, this theme was actually something I wanted to tackle in Fire Emblem as well. Some people are just jerks, but most of the bandits are because of the economy. Oh wow, man, this guy, man, this guy means business. Okay, what do you gotta say? Oh, well, at least he's honorable and nice. Bam. Dang, I deal a lot of damage. Andre is already on a good streak. I feel like Catalia's gonna fall behind really fast, though, if I don't keep at it with her. Alright, go! Flippity flip! Like you've never flippity flipped before. Yes! Oh, what a great way to end the chapter. And he doesn't have a death quote. How strange. Okay. <sighs> okay. I was told that there are two alternate endings. I'm assuming one of them has to do with talking to Garion or not. Yeah, he's alright now. And now we're gonna get this. Oh, he's a journeyman! Just say this right now. I have mad respect for Feratris now. Oh, 
Okay. So, according to Alfred, if one of these two die, then the ending is also altered. Oh my god. <laughs> Puldra is not a good role model. Oh. Whoa! I was not expecting curse words of that caliber in this game. Really? Memes? Oh well. At least it shows them having a fun time. I was worried that Rhea would, would be, you know, all business and stuff, and you gotta you gotta show a more lenient end, you know? Okay. Oh, there's still more. That's not true. That's not true, Feratris. God. Oh, wow, that's that's a bit close to home, I think. You know, lately I've been I've I've been thinking about this and I I really do think I one of the reasons why I like Feratris so much is because I have a lot in common with her. You know, the whole being alienated because, you know, that you're the princess and whatnot. I'm kind of uh, I'm not sure I want to get into it, but there are people who put me on a pedestal, and I feel that they alienate me a as a result. Like, they view me as some god. And now, like, what she did right there, not accepting friendship and whatnot, that's kind of like what I do with actual people, too. I'm I'm afraid to make friends, really. Hmm. Yeah. Stay tuned next time, everyone. And now for the alternate endings. Okay, so... According to Alfred Kamen, you can get an alternate ending if you choose not to talk to the boss, and a certain cutscene at the ending is changed if either Pool Pooldra or Andre are dead. So, I went and just killed off Andre. Let's see what happens. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Talking it over probably would have changed things, though, as we saw. I do wonder why Feratris this time doesn't think to uh, ask Shiori if they have malice, but... 
I mean, it kind of, like, I can see why she went that way, I guess. Ah, well, let's see how this turned out. that of all things changed in the cutscene and there you go there's the alternate endings so until next time market joe 1990 signing out